Ireland. Yes, Nick. The day has come. Woo. It's the, the day new has stuff. Come. Yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of people have been waiting. I, I see the buzz online, so it's uh, very nice to be here and, and finally let the tension go. So, what do we got? Um, so, this is, uh, we can start over here. This is the System 1M. So, basically, uh, this is a, a rack version of the System 1, but uh, the M obviously stands for modular. So, as you can see, you have a whole bunch of inputs and outputs on it. Uh, so, you can create entirely new sounds that were definitely not possible uh, with, uh, with the System 1. So, uh, you have uh, separate outputs for oscillator 1 and 2. Uh, mix output, um, envelope input, and so on. You even have an external input. So if you wanna, if you wanna process a, an external signal like anything from a synth to an iPhone, you can do it there as well. And CV gate and all of that stuff. Yeah, of course uh, we have the CV and gate inputs there, and they're currently being controlled by some external sequencers here. So we have the orbital sequencer here running a little sequence into our system 1M. So this is exactly the same as the System 1, I mean, there, there, there's, does it run plugouts as well? Uh, yes, it, it runs the plugouts just like the, the normal System 1. Uh, we've stripped down some things we didn't think were very necessary for this one, such as the scatter wheel and so on, but instead we've obviously added these, uh, these inputs and outputs um, and made it a modular version. And we've got USB on the front for accessing... Yeah, yeah, USB on the front, works with IROLink, so uh, again, you can, you can connect it directly to the MX-1 mixer, for instance, and get audio and media through USB. And, but below, we have some other units as well. This is kind of uh, really interesting because these are smaller format. These are digital Euro yes, modules? Yes, yes. So uh, these are digital uh, digital effect modules. And we have a few of these. We can start um, with uh, the one we call Bit Racer here. Um, so this is basically a bit crusher and, uh, and a low fire processor at the same time. Uh, sorry. <laughs> this is this is a bit crusher and a, and a cutoff filter at the same time. So uh, you have the sample right there and you have the cutoff there. So I can start filtering like that. Maybe turn up the resonance a little bit. Or not so much. <laughs> and the resolution in all of these are, is actually very smooth because it's 24 bit, which basically means it's 16 million steps. So even though they're digital, they're still really, really smooth. Um, and we've got CV input and control for these as well. Yeah, so you have uh, several modulation uh, opportunities here, so you can connect various parameters uh, with these different inputs. Uh, here we also have the sample rate, so if you want to sort of bit crush it a little bit, so bit crusher and filter at the same time. And what makes these really interesting, these modules, is that they're they're they actually soft patched. So you can, you can make your patches, I'll show you in a little bit, but you can actually make patches for these because they have several sub-modules inside the box, digital sub-modules. Oh, right, so they're programmable? Yes, exactly. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Uh, but we can maybe move on to the next yes. one. So Torcido here is basically a distortion. So are these based on what were the effects inside the IRA, the system one itself? Because there's similarities, there's a bit crusher and what have you in that. Oh yeah, no, this is, this is definitely not the same. Okay. This, is, this is completely different and yeah. So. so you have the tone character here, distortion amounts and the dry wet, wet signal here. I'm guessing you're pretty new to these like everyone yes, else. Yes, yes. That's why it looks like I uh, don't know, know what I'm doing. We, we, came, uh, yes, we yeah. came yesterday and they just weren't on the booth. I so. literally only had a few hours with these myself, so yeah. Um, but that's the, that's the distortion. And uh, here's Scooper. That one is quite interesting, actually. Uh, if you're familiar with the scatter effect that we have on, on some other devices, this is basically like the scatter effect, or at least very similar, um, but in, in its own separate module. And... Um, we can patch this in here. Uh, as you can see, you have a sync trigger there. So you can actually send a, a, a trig signal. So we have a, a signal coming in from the modulars outside here, uh, basically a clock. So we can have a listen to this. So what we do here is we can record 
and, and loop here, and it will quantize automatically to the next clock tick. Uh, so if I press this one, and then it will uh, repeat, uh, it quantize like that. Uh, so you've created this a looper effect. Yeah, so now it's just looping. But this is where we add the scatter effect, the actual effect. So you have the depth of the effect here and the type here. So we can choose the type, maybe that one, and then Basically, it's kind of like a beat repeat, but it does more advanced stuff. Uh, so you get bit crushing and filtering and all, reversing and all kinds of things with these. And different that looks effects. like their CD control of those parameters as well, right? Yes, yes. So again, you have several inputs on these, so you can control the, the wet level or the bypass or things like that. Uh, various parameters, basically, just by connecting a CB cable. Scooper. And lastly, uh, we have the Demora. This is basically a kind of drastic delay effect. So if we just patch this one in. Um, so we have time and, and feedback here, but it's quite unique because uh, the timing goes all the way down to, uh, to 20 microseconds. So it, it can, you can get a really, really tight delay. And when you raise the feedback, it just goes really nuts. Oh, so you could do like a couple of strong stuff where you get feedback notes, effectively. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So we can um, have a listen to that. I'll start it with a quite normal delay time. Normal stuff, feedback here. And now, you will get this pitch shifting effect when you ch change the delay time in real time. No. I guess you can control that, so you can almost... Oh, wow. So you can play that. Like yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you can control this time and feedback uh, with a CV. So you can get really... Like, if you... You can, for instance, put an LFO in here and control it that way. So you can get really interesting effects. Wow. Yeah. So you were talking about being able to program these. Yes, exactly. So I have my little Mac here. And we have... Uh, it's called uh, the Customizer. I'm not filming your password. <laughs> Good, thanks. So, uh, this is called, this is a tentative version, so, so it's not 100% official yet, uh, but, but this is basically the editor program, which is called Modular Customizer. And uh, here is the, the basic module that you're currently programming. So, in this case, I have the bit racer here. And now I just double click here and I will get uh, a choice of different modules, different sub modules. So, we have filters, rig modulator, and stuff. But again, these are not official, so I don't so know how it's going to look in the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically, you can take these modules and you can just uh, take your uh, virtual patch cables here. Um, yeah, again, <laughs> this is tentative version. Uh, and so you can program yeah. them to do what? So what happens then? How do you get them into the module? Uh, this, that's the interesting part, because these mo modules actually have this, have this uh, remote in that you can see here. And this, that's basically an audio input. So uh, what you do is you... You make your patch here, and then you just play it back. You play back the audio, and oh, right. so you can... it's like a tape memory, almost. Yeah, exactly. So, so you, I can just take a cable here from my headphones output, and actually, we even have an iOS and Android app for this as well. So you can just make a patch on your iPhone and just put it in there, for instance. So, how differently can you configure those modules? So, if you buy, I don't know, like the delay one, can you turn it into something completely different? Yeah, you can because you have a lot of different sub modules. But, but again, this, the main part, the main part of the product, which is the more the delay and the looper and so on, uh, that is that is intact. So that's the main part here, which you can't change. But so the extra then, bit. So you yeah, can, the you can bits around it you can so change. So you could utilize those with the extra input and output. So you could put a ring mold on input and output too. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, exactly. So you can you can assign the, these different knobs as well to do various kinds of functions that you want it to. And yeah. what's the module depth like? Are they kind of quite shallow? I mean, because obviously the system one is going to take up a whole bunch of space in your rack. But are these guys very deep or are they? Uh... No, they're not deep at all. Uh, so just. So you don't need a special rack. These, right? these are just a few centimeters. I don't have the exact measurements. No, but they're but going to fit in most your racks. Yeah, now. definitely, definitely. And the power supply and all of that stuff is all the same. So. Yeah, you you can use a normal a normal adapter or Euro rack power as well. That goes even for the System One M. Oh yeah, because these these can work. Can these work standalone? You can put them on your desktop. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Right. Do you have any idea of what they're going to cost? Uh, yes. Um, 
the, the recommended retail price in euros uh, uh, are going to be 299 for, for the effect modules. It's going to be 599 for the System 1M. Right. Yeah. And when are they going to be available? Do you know? Uh, it's in June. Uh, June. Or so. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in the summer. Yeah. Right. Something. David. Actually, it's 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 very it's different for for these two products. So um, I think, do we have the do we have the exact uh, what's the release on these? Uh, it's June. Uh, July. Uh, June, July. Uh, July. Okay. And, uh, Q Q3 third quarter. Okay. Okay. So June June for the System One M and Q3 third quarter for for the effects. David, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure always.